What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fishing Grubs. Um, we ain't fishing today. Well, we're fishing right now. Um, the fishing episode is going to be on the Carp Angler TV YouTube channel. Uh, but today's episode, what's going on right now, um, Jacob from the Chaos Paddlers is almost here. And we're going to be going out doing the Chaos Diving stuff. Uh, I don't know what to expect. I, he hasn't even, like, filled me in on the mission. Like, I haven't even asked. I like to be surprised with these kind of things sometimes. So, I'm going to ask a lot of questions. Um, this is going to be really fun. Uh, also, a lot of hard work. And hopefully, um, we get to... Uh, we get to bring some closure into some people's lives because that's what really this is all about. I actually hear him pulling up. <laughs> there she is. Hot dog. Hot diggity dog. Hello. What's up? <laughs> Pretty freaking sweet. Let's let this puppy go. All right, pick her up, grab her by the tail, like you, you know. Beautiful. <clears throat> right in, and just hold her until she's ready. Just like you would a bass. She'll let you know. She puts herself straight up. Yep. Go ahead. Uh huh. That's perfect. Right along the wall. There you yeah. Go. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> yes, dude. Sweet. I appreciate this, Todd. <laughs> oh, I told you. What time is it? Did I, I said three o'clock. What time do you think it is? I haven't looked yet. Three thirty. Oh yeah, baby. The chaos crew is here. And obviously we got the grub mobile over there. Having a coffee this morning. Got filled in a little bit last night on uh, what we're doing here. And um, we're going to be looking for a gentleman named Guy Pike. And uh, we're going to be searching way more water than I would have possibly imagined. We're going to get on the water today by about 10 a.m. And then maybe get off the water by like 9, 10 a.m. I've been carp fishing all day. Like I said, guys, you can check that out at uh, the other channel on the Carp Angler TV. If you want to see the carp adventures, Jacob caught his first carp. It was dope. I've been broken off a million times. Terrible. But we're going to just kind of like show you the behind the scenes stuff like right now. We're just waking up, having some coffee. They're eating cereal. We're kind of talking about what we're going to be doing here. <sighs> nice. But uh, yeah, we're going to be getting on the road here soon. We got like 45 minutes of chill time. Wake up time. Hopefully catch one more fish time. We're down to two rods. This has been an adventure. This thing apparently, guys, is its own boat. It's its own thing. It does its own thing. It goes out there, swims around. Maybe it'll catch some carp for us. This is what we call a little buddy. Dennis Waters made this several, several years ago. This was the last one he actually made before he passed away. So it's a little dirt, it's a little dusty due to the fact it's in the back of the RV, but it's a boat. What this boat does is it sonars the water just like a regular boat would. With the sonar on top, and then you got the transducer on the bottom. 
remote control boat scans and my phone right there if you grab it shows you the graph oh, what else was sandal so you wonder how you were getting uh or what you were getting stuck on we're about to find out <laughs> let, me, let me get my oh, stand down here that's crazy all right let's uh What, what's what under there, can't you? It's 12 foot deep right here. Where's your line? There's one going that way and then there's one straight out. Straight out, like right out that way is where I was having issues. This is crazy. So that's 12 feet right there. Let's so those it. muscles? So, uh, yeah, for pretty much the rest of today, after all the carp fishing adventures, we're going to be spending the rest of the day in this bad Larry. Really cool boat, and it's got the best sonar. Obviously, like, the stuff we use uh, on the ocean, stuff professional bass fishermen use, and we're going to be using that sonar, that exact same stuff, uh, to hopefully find some things underwater that aren't supposed to be there. And, uh... And Jacob has to dive on him. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Here, uh, I can't pronounce the name of this lake. I'm gonna let other people do it a few more times before I try saying it. Come on, board for it. They're out here, though. Beautiful lake. It is a pretty decent sized lake, so this is gonna take a bit, probably most of the day, and then we gotta go up the Seneca River up the Seneca River as well. This is going to be pretty cool. Let's go. I can say Seneca. different ball game on the water today. Totally different. Yeah. 
a lot of waiting for Jacob, huh? Boat is in. We're about to uh, get on out there ourselves. Looking forward to this. Should learn a lot just just about the sonar in the next week than anything, really. But uh, hopefully we find some stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we just shoved off. We are on the water. I am. Uh, feeling at home sort of uh, we don't have any fishing gear with us so it's really kind of actually odd we should have brought something to troll but uh, we're gonna go in there in the cabin take a look at everything I can already see the screen clear as day we're using the hummingbird um, side side imaging so Jacob's able to see pretty much everything I think 70 feet in either direction 70 feet that way 70 feet that way so he can see all the way to shore right now we can see a ton of rocks I can see it from here uh, under the water and then we can see 70 feet that way and there's really like scattered nothingness that way so probably some good fishing right here <laughs> all right let's uh let's check this out this is just side imaging here and then down here you got the side imaging again is that like more that's just wider, a wider angle. This side, and then this is our down. This is what's right underneath us. A lot of grass, which you can see up here. So you can pick it out here as well. That's wild. There's a lot more of those. Cribs? Cribs. Uh, that looks more. Putt putting out here. It's uh, raining lightly, but we get the cabin, so it's perfect. I mean, and it's not even bad to just be out here. Obviously, I'm just standing out here. This boat is sweet. Arr, matey. We're going like two miles an hour um, and just paying attention to the sonar at all times. So gotta cover this whole lake twice we're gonna go around the entire lake like we are doing right now and then we're gonna go like 70 feet that way or something like that 100 feet that way or whatever and do an entire circle of the lake again that's it and then tomorrow we got a much bigger lake to cover um, we're gonna be doing some of the Seneca River today I believe as well which is pretty cool
mean, it doesn't get better than wearing a top hat. Just like a trolling motor yep. that you don't have. So search is Seneca River over there by the um, location of the family member. We didn't see anything. Uh, we did find a boat out in the middle, but other than that, we didn't find anything. This is getting really super shallow. Isn't it? The other side is like deep. Um, so we're in about six feet of water now, going on the back side of the turn off Seneca, Seneca Lake River. From there, we're gonna search the rest of Onondaga Lake, and then from there, tomorrow, we're going to go to Oneida and search, there's a couple creeks, no, there's one creek, and then a beach area that we're gonna search, and on 81. With that, I think we're also gonna do, there's another river there, right? Oneida River. Up towards Brewerton. Um, and that'll be for tomorrow, but we're gonna finish this off the Onondaga Lake is pretty decently sized, but from what I've what I've seen, we've gotten out far enough that everything's been searched. So I'm I'm gonna say on the side who that we have searched, there's nothing there. We're gonna go to the other, except for the shipwrecks. Uh, we did find one of the shipwrecks that was 1800s. I don't think we got a video of it, did we? Look at all those logs. So yeah, anyway, we'll uh, keep you informed. Day one of searching, folks, is in the books. Um, we're about to go get some food to eat. And... Uh, yeah, we covered this entire lake in a really good portion of the river as well. That was a lot. We were on the water for uh, quite some time. About seven hours. Not bad. Not bad. Seven hours on the water. Just searching. We found some really cool stuff, you know. Found a couple boats. Um, we found a shipwreck. That was dope. But... Time to go get some food. We'll talk to you guys in a little bit and do a little recap on the day. All right, folks. Yeah, I'm freaking hungry. I think the coolest thing about this entire mission is, you know, as I'm out here thinking about like this whole situation and searching for this guy, uh, and hanging out with his granddaughter who was 18 at the time when he disappeared you know it's a long time ago um and she's sweet as could be and it's funny because we're all having a good time in the boat um trying to solve this mystery this is wild i honestly i i didn't know what to expect but it's it's actually um really cool and it feels really cool to be doing something like this and i'm sure it feels even better when you um when you actually help bring closer to uh 
to a storyline like this. Because we still, you know, obviously, we have no idea. Anyways, we're going to get on to get some food. We'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Fast forward. So guys, I was going to film the outro last night when we got here. I meant to do it in the RV with Jacob and Lindsay last night. Uh, we got back. I went in the RV for about five minutes. My eyes felt so tired. I came in the van. Um, I was like, Jacob, I, I, I got to get some rest. I came in the van and passed out in about 30 seconds, I believe. And woke up at 8 o'clock. I haven't slept until 8 in the longest time but you know with the traveling and the fishing and everything going hard whew, it was a lot so anyways I would just like to conclude today's video um, you know we spent all day searching uh, and you know obviously we saw some cool things but we did not find any vehicles um, but the reason why we did that lake is to make sure that that lake was just completely closed. Apparently that lake has been searched before, but it was kind of like half done. And uh, we really wanted to just make sure that it was completely searched. We could check it off the list. We do not need to go back there. There was no vehicles. And that's why we did that. Now we're at Oneida. And we, uh, we actually stayed here at the boat launch last night. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous looking, but it is kind of treacherous uh, out there today. Not treacherous, but it's windy. Um, and this is a big, big lake. This is obviously not the ocean, which we're very used to, but this boat that we're going to be in, it's not a boat uh, meant to be on the ocean. So... We might get our butts whipped a little bit today where we don't know what to expect. Hopefully we can get what we need done done so we can check this place off the list. We have a few spots that we definitely need to check um, to check this place off the list. So that is why we're here. Um, and then I believe we have a river spot, a beach spot, and maybe a couple other spots to check here. And then we got some more stuff we can do today after that. We're, this is, this is it. I mean, we're, we're literally just traveling around upstate New York, uh, places where we know that Guy Pike, you know, would frequent, um, and could have gone and places he knew. So that's, uh, that's what it's all about. I think, you know, after this, this is just coming from me. But I'm not going to feel super confident unless we're around somewhere that has, like, a super steep cliff. Because apparently he is, was known for saying that, one, if I ever did this, you would never find me. That's one, one thing that we have heard that he said. And he's also said that... Um, he was going to drive off of a cliff. So, to me, I just, ha like, I just, until I see, like, a really steep, because you got to think, he probably didn't want to suffer. So, if it's steep enough, that's it, you know, right? So, I mean, that's just what I'm thinking. But, again, you never know. Like, Jacob's found... Uh, people that had dementia like directly in front of the boat launch because they just like drove up to the boat launch and kept going forward. Maybe 
he's found people literally right there, you know. It's one of the first cases I ever watched of uh, Jacobs um, back in the day when he started doing this. I'll never forget that. I was like, oh, my God, that's wild. There was a case in Rhode Island recently where somebody was, like, right off the boat launch, and that was the first thing I thought of. Anyways, um, I just want to thank you all for being here. This is not something I'm used to, so, you know, if there's new people that are coming aboard the channel, you know, this is normally uh, a fishing channel. So, I am way out of my element. I mean, I'm in my element on the water, and that's why Jacob brought me, because uh, if we find anything that's, you know shallow enough i'm just gonna throw goggles on and dive down um they don't need to get their gear ready or do any of that they can literally just be like grubby get in the water uh which is funny i don't know if you guys know this but jacob's last name is grubs and my last name is grub and that's why we are friends because he was one of the first subscribers on my channel and the first thing he said was i almost named my channel the same thing and i was like get out of here uh back in the day when he was just the old chaos paddlers We've been friends for a very long time. Jacob is one of the greatest guys I know. And um, I can't thank him enough for letting me tag along and, and uh, document this thing. Because, you know, it's to me, this is just so cool that he's been doing this. It's unbelievable. He's just an unbelievable guy. Super great human. And um, to see him, you know, find himself, it's... Uh, it's crazy because if you asked me five years ago if this is what I saw Jacob doing I would have been like no no way he's just gonna be fishing <laughs> and now he's you know really helping people on a daily basis bring closure to some you know wild stories um, this is awesome it's also very difficult at the same time like did this as as amazing as it is it's very it's some serious stuff which is hard for me because i'm just not really a very serious person most of the time i'm a goofball so hopefully guys you know you're enjoying this um i'm gonna do my best to put up a video of every day that we spend so i'm gonna close this off and actually start it right back up thanks for tuning in we'll catch you on the next one this is where I usually say fish on, but we're not fishing, so let's search away. <laughs> Thanks, guys.